ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ambitious dreamers, and of course, all of you who secretly Google how to make life easier without actually trying. Welcome to today's motivational, totally not, totally not sarcastic speech. We're diving deep into one of life's biggest paradoxes. Once you stop caring, results come. Let that sink in for a second. Once you stop caring, results come. You know, the same way rain comes after you've just finished washing your car. Well, that golden job offer appears right when you've made peace with the fact that your career is going nowhere. Funny how life works, huh? From a young age, we're told that hard work, dedication, and relentless pursuit of goals will bring us success. Success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out, they said. What they forgot to mention was that you could also just stop trying and the universe might accidentally trip and throw success your way. Oops, it happens. It's almost as if life is one big joke, and when you care too much, the universe laughs in your face. But the moment you throw your hands in the air and say, forget it, I don't care anymore. Bam, magic happens. The universe is like, oh no, no, no. You were supposed to keep begging me for attention. Here's your prize since you finally left me alone. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should show up to work in your pajamas, shrug off deadlines, and expect promotions to come knocking on your door. That's not not caring. That's unemployment. But there's a fine art to this thing, my friends. The kind of not caring I'm talking about is where you stop obsessing over every single step of the process. Where you stop gripping onto control like your life depends on it. You've probably heard the saying, the tighter you squeeze, the less you have. And no, that's not just true for toothpaste tubes. It's true for life. The more you cling to your plans, the more the universe goes, nah, they're not ready yet. Let's mess with them some more. But once you loosen that death grip, something miraculous happens. You shift from the desperate, sweaty palmed, I need results now, mode to the carefree, breezy, a eh, whatever happens, happens vibe. And guess what? That's when the results come. Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans, said John Lennon. Pretty sure John was speaking from personal experience of watching his carefully laid plans crumble to pieces while the universe handed him something better. You ever noticed how the people who want something the most tend to be the ones who never get it? Take relationships, for instance. You're single, and you're out there, putting yourself on every dating app. Sliding into DM is, sending carefully crafted text messages with just the right amount of emojis. You're pulling out all the stops, hoping, praying, wishing the universe will send you the one. And what happens, crickets? The universe, sipping its cosmic latte, is like, look at them, caring so much. How adorable. Let's make them wait a little longer. Then one day, you wake up and say, you know what? I'm done with this. I don't need anyone. I'm going to live my best life, solo, with my dog, and a Netflix subscription. And bam, that's the day you bump into the love of your life at the grocery store while buying frozen pizza. Why? Because you stopped caring. It's the same with success. You can stress yourself out, trying to be the best, working 16-hour days, burning the candle at both ends, and you'll still get nowhere. Why? Because you're trying too hard. Success is a lot like a stubborn cat. The more you chase it, the more it runs away. But if you sit back, relax, and pretend you don't even see it, it'll come curl up in your lap. Let me give you a personal anecdote, for educational purposes only, of course. There was a time I cared a lot about my YouTube channel. 
I'd spend hours editing, making thumbnails, posting on every social media platform, tracking analytics. I was basically living in my analytics tab, waiting for those views to spike. Guess what? Nothing. Views were as flat as my enthusiasm after my 100th video. But the moment I said, you know what, who cares? I'll just upload for fun. Suddenly, I got more views, more subscribers, and more engagement than ever. It's almost like the YouTube algorithm sensed my desperation and decided to punish me for it. Then when I stopped caring, the algorithm was like, oh, they're cool now. Let's promote their video. Don't chase success. Let success chase you, said someone really wise. Probably some guy who got everything handed to him right after he decided it wasn't worth the effort anymore. There's an actual principle behind all of this, by the way. It's called the law of detachment. And it goes like this. When you become emotionally detached from the outcome, you allow the process to work naturally. You stop blocking the flow with your obsessive need to control everything. It's like planting a seed. If you dig it up every hour to see if it's sprouting, it's never going to grow. But if you just water it, give it sunlight, and leave it alone, it'll flourish on its own. Or, think of it this way. When you're learning to swim, the more you panic and flail, the more likely you are to sink. But the moment you relax and trust the water to hold you, you float. Life, in all its frustrating wisdom, works the same way. Now, I'm not saying you should stop caring about everything. That's a fast track to becoming a couch potato. But if you care about the right things in the right way, and then stop hovering like a helicopter parent over the process we might actually get somewhere. You see, there's a fine balance between caring enough to take action, but not caring so much that you strangle the possibility of success. It's like being a ninja of apathy, selectively investing your energy in what matters while ghosting the rest. Take athletes, for example. They train relentlessly, sure. But when they're in the game, they're not obsessively thinking about every little move they practiced. They're in flow. They're present. They've stopped caring about every single step. And because of that, they win. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you are going to miss it, said Viktor Frankl, who, trust me, knew a thing or two about life's deeper wisdom. So, here's the takeaway, folks. Adopt the whatever happens, happens mantra. Wake up in the morning, put in the work, and then let the chips fall where they may. Care enough to do your best, but not so much that your happiness depends on the outcome. If you lose a job opportunity, who cares? The next one's probably better. If that guy or girl doesn't text you back, their loss. Move on. If your YouTube video flops, just make another one. Because guess what? Once you stop caring, the results will come. In the end, the secret to success is like that unexpected phone call from an old friend. It comes when you least expect it, usually when you've moved on and stopped waiting for it. So go ahead. Give it your best shot. Then stop obsessing over whether it'll work out. And in the wise words of every unbothered person who accidentally succeeded in life, I wasn't even trying. <laughs>